back in ETV. What's up guys, Xavier here with you on Balcony TV LA, we're at Live Nation in Hollywood and I'm hanging out with my fellow Aussie Stonefield. How you doing guys? Good, thank you. So what song are you going to be playing for us? Uh, we're going to do Changes. Changes, wow. take it away. Stonefield with the song changes. Well done, guys. You just had everyone sort of swaying there. <laughs> Loved it. So you've uh, how many times you've just got? You've, how long? How long have you been in the states for now? This trip. Uh, we got here Sunday, so nearly a week. How many times have you been here? Well, how many times have you played in the U.S. now? Uh, this is our third tour, third yeah. proper tour. Yeah. Thing you thing you guys most look forward to coming to the U.S. Um, 
I guess like driving and being able to go into so many different states. Right, like, most people I asked that to say in and out Burger, so that was very cultured. <laughs> Definitely not in and out Yeah, Burger. nice. And tell me, um, tell me what's on the agenda for this trip? What are you guys here for? Um, so we're supporting Meat Puppets uh, on the West Coast, and then we're going over to the East Coast and doing um, the support for King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, mm -hmm. and uh, playing Starry Nights Festival in Santa Barbara, and a few of our own shows as well. Along Just the way. a couple things then. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big tour. It's a lot bigger than what you can do in Australia, so that's yeah. exciting. Awesome. And tell me, so I hear, I've lived in LA for about five years now, and I often hear that um, about like people just being snobs at shows. And I know you guys have played here a bit. Have you noticed, do you notice any difference between the crowds in LA compared to everywhere else? Is it, are they tough? Um, I don't know. We've had pretty good experiences, really. It's been pretty positive and yep. vibey, so... We haven't really experienced right. any snobbiness. All right, all right. <laughs> Apparently it can be bad. <laughs> um, and tell me, so your album dropped in July in Australia last year, and it's just about to drop here in the US, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's exciting. It's yeah, a bit of, bit of a wait, but worth and, it, I guess. And how has the reception been with the American audiences? I mean, is it, are you seeing it like getting better and better each tour, or how does it work? Um, yeah, it's been really good. I think it's exciting to see that um, there's, I don't know, because there's so many more people, there's definitely going to be a bigger audience for your music obviously there's going to be a lot more people that are going to be into what you do so um yeah that's really and did king gizzard have a following over here obviously i know them because i'm from australia but do people know them over here yeah they're playing in like theaters and stuff here so yeah it should be pretty big that's impressive yeah <laughs> awesome guys look well thank you so much for hanging out with us we really appreciate it i'm stoked i can release my inner bogan hanging out with you guys <laughs> it's awesome um you've been watching stonefield my name is xavier brinkman on balcony tv la we'll catch you next time cheers balcony tv